Hey, this is Dave, and today we're going to talk about the Azus Store AS304T. This is a NAS storage unit that allows you to take multiple hard drives, put them together, and create a massive storage solution. I'm going to be using my 3 terabyte Western Digital hard drives. You can use traditional 3.5 drives as well as 2.5 SSD drives. This unit is great for storage and designed for multimedia, downloading content from the web, and accessing it anywhere via their cloud. Whether you're using a Mac, Windows, Linux, smartphone apps, or even displaying it on your big screen TV via the HDMI output. You control everything with a computer browser like Internet Explorer 9, Firefox, Chrome, or Safari. It has a built-in operating system firmware currently running ADM 2.1, but there's also a beta program running ADM 2.2, which adds much more features. Azure Store has built in an app store called App Central that unleashes the power of the NAS and makes it more than just a mass storage and backup solution. What's great about Azure Store and sets it aside from other NAS units is this intuitive interface and seamless system migration, meaning when you're ready to expand, you could just pull the existing hard drives out and put them into the new NAS and you're good to go. The operating system is very user friendly, easy to configure, and from what I've seen and read in reviews is very well written. We'll take a look for ourselves. We will talk more about features, firmware, apps, and things that you can do with your Azu store in future videos coming real soon. You know me, and if you watched my videos in the past, I'm gonna put this NAS through its courses and present everything and every angle so that you can make the right decision whether this NAS is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll go on the journey together. Let's now see what's in the box. As far as the box goes, it's very plain. It's got some specifications on the front and some of the features shrouding the whole surround of the box. Let's open this up. First thing we see is a nice big thick styrofoam. And we have the unit itself right here. There's another box here with your accessories and cords. And here I also ordered the remote control that is optional. You can purchase that online. Let's take a look at the unit. It's got nice rubber feet at the bottom to hold it in place. Let's take a look at what's in this box. So we have a power cord and what's good is the power brick is built into the system. We have a RJ45 Cat5e cable, Ethernet cable. We have some mounting screws for two and a half and three and a half hard drives. We have an install disk, but we can basically download everything from the website. And of course we have the user manual, which will help you get started. This is the optional remote. It's a very plain remote, but it gets the job done when you're connecting this NAS to the HDMI in your TV. Let's plug it in and we'll take a look at all that's on the NAS unit. So here we have four bays. I haven't put any hard drives in yet. But to open them, you just push the button here and it slides right on out. The tray holds the two and a half with these four screws. And then there's four screws total for your larger 3.5 hard drives. Put this hard drive right into the tray. Throw in the screws and pop it right back in and you're good to go. Okay, let's power on the unit. Even though I don't have hard drives in there, you're going to see a power blue power light and a hard drive activity light flashing in green. You have a network connectivity LED here and you have a one touch button that's surrounding the USB 3.0 in the front. 
If you had hard drives in, you would see lights indicating here. Now there is no uh, LCD panel on the 304 unit, but you can get those in the 60 uh, series. There's also an IR receiver for the optional remote control. On the side we have one intake vent and there's no other vent. It's gray aluminum. On the back we have the power input, a 120 millimeter fan for keeping everything cool. We have a Kensington lock, one Ethernet, one gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 2.0s, an HDMI output, USB 3.0, so there's two of them because there's one on the front. There's a reset pinout hole and headphone out. Okay, I'm going to put the four hard drives in. I'm going to connect our network cable to our Wi-Fi router. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set this all up by downloading different software to your PC and your mobile apps. And I'll show you how to set everything up to make it the best experience you can get with your Azure store. I hope you join us. Don't forget to subscribe. All the links will be in the description. And have a nice day. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.